Hello and welcome back to an all new episode of The Elegant Life. I know it has been a long time. I did warn you that it was going to be a two month sabbatical. Uh, we had a summer vacation that didn't go the way we planned completely. I will share all of that in this video. But how are you doing? Did you manage to do your elegant assignment that I gave you? If you haven't watched that video, I suggest you go back and, and watch it. I'll put a link below to it. But you were all given an elegant assignment over the holidays, and so I wonder how you did, how you found it. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below and let me know. So what I'm going to share with you is our holiday. As you may remember, maybe you're not, because we have a lot of new people, so hello, welcome to all the gorgeous spiritual women out there who are choosing to learn how to live elegantly. My husband and I were celebrating our 15 year anniversary and we decided to do it in Italy in the Tuscan area. I had had this desire come up within me for the last, I would say three years that I wanted to go to Italy, I wanted to go to Tuscany and I wanted to have a cooking course of just, out in nature learning how to make authentic Italian food. I cannot tell you the joy of those first two days that we had in, in Florence. Then we traveled to the Tuscan countryside and we stayed at a fabulous place where we ended up having a fantastic cooking course. We made truffle ravioli, um, fresh tagliatelle, our own tiramisu, parmesan souffle, a, a lot of different things. We got the surprise of our life just before we got to enjoy that food. I will share all the beauty and the big shock that happened to us over this summer. So keep watching. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to give you just my insights as to what that experience has done for me and what influence that will have over the coming year at the Elegant Life blog and here on this YouTube channel. So enjoy the video, enjoy the beauty. There's going to be lots of Italian music, a lot of beautiful Italian scenery, and we'll see you on the other side of the video for what's new this year. So Italian, look at all this, secret doors everywhere, very nice, ooh, wow, gorgeous, totally feels like Italy, Florence, love it. in the bridge too.
chiedevo dov'è il senso, se c'è un senso a tutto questo e ho respirato sui tuoi battiti lenti e adesso vivi, sì ma dentro mi immagine, ricordo c'era il vento e io. We move all the time. Why? Because the cheese is heavier than the other areas okay. and goes down. Go down. Otherwise, yeah. the last one is Very full of, yeah, exactly. And the other one's not, okay? That's why. I, uh, yes, but uh, the other ones, the people here use also the other ones that they are, do. yeah. Oh, I prefer this one because I'm lighter. Yeah. But uh, if you, for we are going to uh, put the coffee on them. One here like this, and all, and here the same. And I think here, just to give you a size, you're going to do this. Mm, okay. And this. Yeah. Okay? okay? For all the all the mistakes. Now you can do this. Tomatoes. Okay, now. Okay, for example, this is oregano. You can smell it, it's nice, mm. oregano. <coughs> this is marjoram. Marjoram? Marjoram, yeah, mm. smell it, nice. Wow, it's so good. This is celery, celery. Here we have one very mm. mm. This one here is very that's what you put on your... Yeah. yeah. For exactly, the, for exactly. the mosquitoes, But yeah. this is good, not to have... No. Mosquitoes, yeah. yeah. Lavender. We take some sage that we need. Mm. See? <laughs> and mm. in the middle of the garden, we have rosemary, fino, we go. Yeah, yeah. Flavor, yeah. this nice is all bay leaf. Wow. Okay. 
Okay, now we begin in here we have this. If you want to see it, here you have numbers. You have not came here and you see. Here we we have numbers. You see we have numbers. And here we have the mark. Okay? We begin in for maximum more than the higher number, the first time that we are going to put the dough here. Okay? After we go for the higher number, once. Ten. Once, nine, eight, seven, one by one, all the numbers until we arrive to the thickness that we want. Here you are, when it's not too long, you just leave it there. Okay, out. Now, I'm going to show you another technique. Take it, okay? Like this. And done. Is that? Is the name? It's just a name. name. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's pasta with something inside. Right, okay, that's what it's pasta with. Okay. Mm -hmm. Keep open here. Mm -hmm. I remove the air from here. Okay. When I see that I don't have any more air, mm -hmm. I close. Mm -hmm. And I have one. And now from here, the same thing. I begin from the center. Okay, I go kick it. I go and around. Okay, I go around them, okay? No more air, okay? In the middle of them here also. So, as you can see, we were just literally, from the photo that you can see there, we had taken a picture of the Parmesan souffle, we had sat down, they set us a beautiful table looking over the Tuscan countryside. My husband and I were sitting there with just joy filled in our hearts, feeling beyond blessed to have had this amazing experience together. And we held up our glass of wine and we just looked out and we said, is this not the life? And in the corner of my husband's eye, he saw his WhatsApp message flash and he just kind of glanced at it. And then he said, what? What? And he got up and he just started screaming and crying and I did not know what had happened. I thought something with our children. And uh, when he said my dad died, it was like, uh, it was in absolute shock. He was not ill. The only thing was, he, he, we had just spoken to him like the night before and he said, um, yeah, I feel like I'm coming down with a bit of the flu or a cold. I just kind of want to go home because they were on a holiday. He went home uh, the way my mother-in-law described it, he kind of laid back on the bed and said, oh, there's no place like home, there's no place like your own bed. And then he said, I I'm feeling really tired, so I think I'm going to have a nap. And she said, well, I'll make you some soup so that when you wake up, you can have some nice warm soup. He said, maybe I'll just go to the bathroom first. He turns to go to the bathroom, fell to his knees, dropped, tongue out, dead. Oof. This, we, we still don't know exactly what happened. He had to have an autopsy and we haven't got the results. It was the shock of our lives. Now, you know me, right? I'm always talking about living as an energetic being. We are not human beings. I get that. The shock of the physical human being is real, it's natural. I've talked about grief before on this YouTube channel. That shock is normal and natural. Um, the incidents that happened afterwards, I will save maybe for another video because I was literally traumatized by what happened after with the whole burial. I have never seen a burial like that before and I have a little bit of claustrophobia, so it really affected me. Then there was a lot of people throughout the summer that I had to um, help and be there for and be present. 
and um, it was a lot to take in and have to bear on my shoulders, I think, as well. So anyway, after I gave myself permission to sort through all my emotions, I started to think, now what is the learning from this? What's the growth opportunity for me here? What messages do I need to hear? And there have been certain things that at the end of last year, I was starting to question and I was starting to think about and they were really present in my mind as to how can I move forward with the elegant life because it was growing at such a rapid pace that how do you give yourself without burning out and feeling depleted because I give to so many, not just the YouTube channel, not just the blog, but I have a waiting list of coaching clients that I do my work with because it's just so profound. Well, because this video has been long enough, I think what I will do is a dedicated video next week with where I see the elegant life going. It is truly going to be in service of you all more, but also in a way that will serve me and my life and, and honoring of myself. So. I hope you'll be excited. I think I'm gonna be able to actually help more people than I've ever helped before. So you'll see how this is all gonna play out. Stay tuned for next week. Um, and if you're new to The Elegant Life again, welcome, welcome, welcome. Take a look at some of the other videos to see more of what we're about. Make it an elegant week.